This video is going to show you how to create a simple bar graph in a digital assignment made with Microsoft PowerPoint. In this particular example, we are creating a single bar graph um, that shows the favorite sport among a group of students. This assignment came with a template that looks like a piece of graph paper, and we could use text boxes and shapes and lines to create a graph. But instead, we're going to use the Microsoft Excel, Microsoft PowerPoint feature to create a digital graph. I'm going to go to the blank slide in this assignment to create the graph. I'm going to select Insert, then Chart, and then Column. I'm going to create the most simple bar graph, so I'm going to choose a clustered column graph. When I click this, this is going to open up Microsoft Excel and we're going to use this to enter our data and then that data is going to create the graph within Microsoft PowerPoint. Now as I said before we are creating a single bar graph in this particular example and so therefore we don't need multiple series. This is showing a bar graph with three bars representing three series of data but we only have one series of data in our set here. So if we were graphing the favorite sport among students in three different classes, then we would have three different series, but that's not what we're graphing here. So I'm going to delete these two columns since they're not needed. The categories that are found in the first column of Microsoft Excel represent the groups um, that are found along the x-axis or horizontal axis of the bar graph. This is going to be the different sports. So I'm going to type each sport in each row of this column. The second column is going to represent the number of students that chose each sport as their favorite sport. So for soccer it was 13 students, football was 10, basketball was 8, baseball was 11, tennis was 5, and gymnastics was 8. It's really important that I push enter after I type my last, my last value so that all of this data has been recorded properly in Microsoft Excel. Now when I go back to Microsoft PowerPoint, I can see that the graph has changed and it now reflects the data that I typed in Microsoft Excel. I can close out Microsoft Excel. Uh, we don't need that anymore, but if I realize that I made a mistake with my data, all I have to do is right click the graph and go to edit data in Excel and I could therefore go and change anything that um, I had entered into my graph. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to expand my graph so it takes up the majority of the page and therefore is a bit easier to see. And I need to do three important things. The first thing I need to do is give my graph a title. So I'm going to click this text box at the top, double click, and I'm going to create a title for my graph. The next thing I need to do is create a title for my horizontal or x-axis. To add, add, uh, add titles to the axes, I'm going to click the graph and that's going to create a new tab along the top of Microsoft PowerPoint. I'm going to click Chart Design and on the far left I'm going to choose Add Chart Element. I want to add axis titles so I'm going to click Horizontal as well as vertical. I can select this text box and therefore type in the title for the horizontal or X axis. I can do the same thing for the vertical or Y axis. If this graph was showing multiple sets of data, I would need a legend, but because we're only dealing with one set of data, I'm going to delete this legend here. Now there's a couple of other things you could do if you wanted to. You can add grid lines, you can add data labels. 
these are all things that may be uh, necessary for your graph, but not so much with this one. The other thing that you can do with a bar graph is edit the scale. So what I've done here is I've actually clicked the Y axis scale. And if I go to format and then choose format pane, a separate box is going to open up where I could actually change the minimum and maximum value along the Y axis. The um, program itself is going to choose a best fit for your graph, but if you're not satisfied with that best fit, you can go ahead and alter these scales um, simply by just selecting the scales and then choosing the little graph icon here. I hope this video helps you better understand how to create digital graphs in Microsoft PowerPoint, and I hope you enjoy making those digital graphs in digital assignments.